Welcome to Dream Screen. A unique immersive television experience created from responsive LED backlighting. Everything connects through the included HDMI splitter and cord. Simply plug in the power, then get ready to change the way you watch television forever. Video mode uses the HDMI video source. Whether cable TV, your gaming console, Apple TV, Chromecast, or any video source. The music mode feature uses the stereo channels of HDMI to visualize your music. Using RGB technology, Dream Screen lights dance to your favorite beats and is a great way to accentuate your home or venue. In ambient lighting mode, Dream Screen enhances your home or venue in a variety of colors to set the mood of your choice. Select your color and then easily adjust the brightness. Download the DreamScreen app on your phone from the Google Play or iTunes Store and have full control of your device via Bluetooth. Turn the lights on to the new wave of technology that is coming to home theater and support DreamScreen's Kickstarter campaign. Skiing is awesome. And the better you are, the more fun you have. Introducing Carve, the world's first real-time ski wearable. Carve is your digital ski coach that puts world-class ski instruction in your ears. We've all had skiing lessons before, and they're great, but you can't have a coach with you every time you ski. Carve fits into any ski boot and is always with you, analyzing your every move. By seamlessly integrating a thin pressure and motion sensing insert, powered by a tracker. With lessons, you have to wait until the end of the run to hear how you did. Carve speaks to you as you ski to correct your form in real time. Welcome to your advanced ski training. Lesson five. Keep your weight forward. Good job. Skiing drills can be repetitive and boring. Carve transforms drills into exciting and rewarding games. Carve has trick recognition to track your time in the park. Get detailed stats from your session with takeoff and landing analysis to check if you are balanced when you should be and aren't landing too hard. If you're a racing skier, you can get a complete data record to take the guesswork out of training. Know what makes you faster and set targets to improve. And for all levels of skier, Carve tracks your stats over time, so you'll really be able to see the difference Carve has made to your skiing. It then lets you share your progress with friends and see how you compare. Hi Kickstarter, Jamie and I have been working on Carve for the past two years. In that time, we've tested our technology with world-class athletes and even Olympians and incorporated their feedback into our designs. We've spent thousands of hours to ensure maximum comfort whilst maintaining robustness and reliability on the mountain. Carve is the first consumer device to truly combine pressure and motion sensing. This gives unprecedented insights into your skiing technique. And you can see, oh man, it works fantastic. <laughs> you can see it on his body, but yeah. you can see here amazingly good, you know? Mm. So that makes life so much easier. So whether you're a professional or a casual skier like me, Carve will help you get the most out of skiing. We've developed Carve from the ground up with production in mind. We've partnered with manufacturers in Shenzhen, China to ensure Carve will ship on time, ready for the next ski season. To bring Carve to the mass market, we're turning to you, Kickstarter. We need your help to purchase the materials and tooling required for our first batch. Back us today, and you can be one of the first people to experience Carve. Skiing is awesome, and now we can make it even better. I really think that this technology can revolutionize the way people 
think about skiing. Uh, we make skis to make it easier for everyone, from the best to the, to the novice. And I think this technology, it's something that not only can help the best racers in the world improve their time by that hundredth of a second that matters, but it can help a whole range of people ski better. We've been testing these uh, pressure sensors and uh, motion device, uh, which is a really cool thing uh, because it kind of uh, brings a, a new perspective, you know. It's interesting that every turn you see like single, all the pressure, all the movements, like the whole, the whole uh, racer, you see what he's doing in one turn. I think that for our sport it's really, really interesting because you can um, achieve more information and good information that usually you don't have. So instead of something dragging on for months and not understanding where the problems are coming from, it will be instant. Sometimes you cannot feel it, you cannot see it on the camera and these pressure sensors allows you to see exactly what's going on. And I think it's not so complicated and it's small. That's, I think that's the most important thing. You put these sensors in, uh, in the boot and that's all what you need. It's, it's super cool because the, the, so the insole is super light and thin so I can feel it at all so it's not disturbing so I can ski on my best. It's one millimeter what you feel in the boot so it's compared to nothing. It's just it would be like the same if you were a thicker sock. I think it's brilliant to educate ski instructors especially for racers and but also for everyone you know if you have this i think it's not that expensive and then you have an app and then you can control yourself usually it's really surprising because usually i don't like to mix this that much technology i really trust my feelings and uh, i'm this kind of type of guy uh, so i was a bit skeptical you know before i was testing that uh, but now I see that it actually does show you a lot of things, you know, and it really works. So I think that's going to be a great combination together. Hi, Kickstarters. I'm Cannon. And I'm Matt. Fitness is an integral part of any smartwatch. Whether it's counting steps, changing songs, or alerting you to notifications, the Pebble Time is a great everyday companion. Here at Tilt, we're product people who've developed a full line of wireless charging products since you helped us launch The View back in 2013. But we're particularly excited to bring two great new features, heart rate and wireless charging, to your Pebble Time and Time Steel with the Tilt Pebble Plus. The Tilt Pebble Plus case connects to the accessory port of your Pebble Time, encasing your watch in protective polycarbonate and flexible rubber. The LED-based HR sensor is designed to bring accurate heart rate measurements straight to your Pebble. The Tilt Pebble HR app keeps track of current heart rate and displays interval time, alerting you when you've reached your maximum heart rate. So when you finish your workout, the interface shows the number of calories burned, average heart rate, and the total duration of the workout, syncing the data directly to your Apple Health or Google Fit account via the Pebble's BLE connection. We're currently working with a top heart rate electronics manufacturer and optimized it to marginally impact the battery of the Pebble. When it's time to charge, simply place your Pebble Time on any Qi enabled wireless charger and enjoy cable free, full speed wireless charging. The wireless charging works by connecting internal Pogo pins to the Pebble Time accessory port, transferring power to the Pebble at full speed. So if you're excited about bringing heart rate and wireless charging to your Pebble Time and Time Steel, please support our project. Back us by clicking the green button. Thanks for all your support from everyone here at the Tilt family. How do you maximize the return on your scrap cable? Bright copper wire can be worth as much as three and a half times copper wire with its insulation still in place. There are several ways to remove the insulation. You could use an industrial stripper. However, these are not portable and very expensive. You could use a regular utility knife and try to do it by hand. This doesn't work for most cables. It's very time consuming and not very practical. There are also other pitfalls of using a utility knife. Some people even burn the insulation off their cable. This is not only illegal in some areas and terrible for the environment, but the reclamation value is less than a third of that of bright copper wire. If you don't remove the insulation from your scrap cable, you may as well burn your money. Introducing Cable Knife 
the world's best handheld cable stripper for the purpose of maximizing scrap value. Cable Knife uses regular utility knife blades to cut through the insulation, leaving the user with a bright copper wire which can be worth up to three and a half times the value of unstripped cable. So, how does it work? The cable is placed into the rear of the tool. The hand gripper is squeezed to locate the cable in the guide. The knife blade is pressed into the insulation using the thumb. Finally, the cable is pulled through the tool to complete the cut, and the insulation peels off like a banana skin. Cable knife will remove the insulation from flat cables up to 19mm squared. The unique cable guide keeping the cable centered during the cutting process. Round cables from 1mm up to 20mm in diameter can be stripped using cable knife. Cable knife will remove the insulation from solid core cable, braided cable, even coaxial cable. The unique cable guide ensures that cables of all sizes and shapes are kept centered in the cutting chamber for the knife blade to make a clean surgical cut in the insulation with the minimum of effort. Perfect for electricians, plumbers, DIYers and anybody else who's looking to maximize their return on scrapping copper cable. This is the tool that metal recyclers don't want you to know about. They profit removing the insulation from the cable that you bring to them and they make thousands of pounds more for the bright copper wire than they paid you. Put that money back in your wallet. Dry bright copper wire is currently worth approximately £2,650 per tonne. PVC wire is approximately £800 per tonne. Cable knife will pay for itself very quickly. Strip a little each day or save it up and do it once a year. Maximize your scrap value. Have you ever wanted to copy a 3D object without spending hours with a caliper and a CAD program, but you had to choose between buying a 3D scanner and your monthly car payment? We're introducing the first 3D laser scanner with a price point under $100. Our scanner has the same or better specifications as currently available scanners costing up to seven times more, is simple to operate and has a wide range of options. How did we manage to design a machine with these specifications yet at a far lower price? We based our design around the BQ Cyclop, an open source laser scanner. After lots of experimentation, we settled upon hardware and electronics that would provide the same scan quality but at a fraction of the price. Then, instead of using ugly and unwieldy threaded rod, we fuse sleek laser-cut acrylic with plastic parts that the user can fabricate themselves on their own 3D printer. We redesigned our parts specifically with ease of printing in mind to use a fraction of the time and material of the original Cyclop. Further, we immensely reduced the minimum footprint for the parts in order to print on even the smallest of printers. To scan, simply set any object on the ample 200mm acrylic turntable and click the Start button. Two red line lasers flash on the object that is being scanned, and as the turntable slowly makes a complete revolution, the 720p camera detects the location of each of the laser lines, storing those locations as points in 3D space. After the scan is complete, a cloud of points is generated that replicates the surface of the object. That point cloud can be used standalone or easily converted in a free program like MeshLab or Cloud Compare to reproduce on a 3D printer or keep as a CAD file to add to a drawing or assembly and save you the time of creating the part from scratch. So what's stopping you from adding a great piece of technology to your lab, workshop, kitchen table, or wherever you like to tinker and design? We've made sure that it isn't the price or performance. As 3D printing enthusiasts, we wanted to design a scanner that had excellent functionality, but was modestly priced and born out of the DIY spirit. We grew up together in a small agricultural community in Montana and have always been interested in technology and innovation. Armed with the experience from a successful Kickstarter in 2015, an engineering degree from Harvard, and the real-world application skills that come from living on a farm, our goal is nearly complete. Now, we just need you to help us realize our goal of expanding this growing technology and making 3D scanning incredibly affordable to anyone who owns a 3D printer by supporting our campaign. Thank you.